The whole area of adjunctive therapies for type 1 diabetes is an effort to find medications which could help either with the obesity problem or with the cardiovascular problem or ideally with both. We have medications for the treatment of type 2 diabetes that have been shown to have positive effects on body weight and at the same time reduce the risk for cardiovascular complications including heart attacks, heart failure, and progression of chronic kidney disease. We have another class of medications, the GLP-1 receptor agonists, that have also been shown to have positive effects on body weight and to reduce the risks for complications of cardiovascular events. Now, the question is, can these two classes of medications be used in patients with type 1 diabetes? We have very small studies to suggest that they might be effective, but what we lack are the long-term studies to suggest that they really have a benefit in helping to reduce their risk for cardiovascular disease. Therefore, we're intent upon pursuing new adjunctive therapies which might have a benefit for the treatment of type 1 diabetes. There are going to be more and more of these medications in the next few years, and so we want to have a pipeline that will help not just patients with type 2 diabetes, but those with type 1 diabetes as well.